How's it going everyone? So if you're watching this video it means you want to make some money in Takistan life. And in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the best legal way to make money in Takistan life uprising. And then I'm going to be showing you uh, in another video how to make money illegally um, in, in this game. So I'm going to be covering all the bases and then I'm also going to be doing a couple other guides on my channel because I just don't see any good guides on YouTube whenever I'm doing my own searches. So because of that I'm just going to be doing it myself and I'm hopefully I'm hoping that you guys find this valuable in some way. So when you first spawn into Takistan as a civilian, um, you're going to have around $500,000, um, give or take, maybe one hundred fifty to 500000 depending on what server you're on. But um, when you first start into the game, you're going to be at the mosque, and what the f fuck? <laughs> uh, for me, I took around $350, um, $350 out. Like, he just gave me 300000 not $3 million. Hey, don't steal my car, man. Please don't steal it. Arnold! 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 Alright. Um, I'm going to be trying to show you guys how to make money uh, legally in Pakistan Life Uprising. And this is literally the fourth time I've recorded this because... A huge explosion happened, my vehicle was stolen twice, and yeah. So if you can get past all that crazy shenanigans and you spawn in, normally you'll be completely okay, but I guess I caught retard hour. So, um, you know, if you're first starting the game and you don't really know what, what to do and you just want to make money, I'm going to be showing you the bare minimum of what you need, and then I'm also going to show you guys some additional things that you can get to make your trip much easier. So. You're going to want to run in, you want to go to your ATM, you want to take out some money. You're going to have maybe $150,000 to $500,000 here, give or take. You're probably going to want to take all of it out um, just to kind of see what you can actually buy um, but because it can get very expensive. Um, and once you do, it's you want to just, let's see here, let's take out like, for an example, I already have $500,000 on me, so you want to take out some money. Then you want to run over here, and uh, then you can get your licenses. Now, I've already purchased most of my licenses, and you can view uh, all of your player history and everything like that by just clicking the number one key and actually scrolling down, and you'll see all your licenses. So I actually have a driver's license. I have my engineering training. But you won't have that when you first start out, so you're going to have to purchase it. Engineering training is $200,000, and although you don't necessarily need it, you need to be able to drop buy a drill and to get a drill uh, you need your engineering so that's step one that's going to cost you two hundred thousand um, plus the drill which is around fifty thousand so that's two hundred fifty thousand of your dollars already spent next you want to go to the car shop after you get your driver's license and engineering training and you're probably going to want to buy um, a red Land Rover now you can get the pickups and everything like that like that that's that works too but the red land rover is really the best off-road uh, from the initial civ spawn so you want to get something that can also run very fast off-road and on-road because you never know if you're going to get chased by the independents um, or random criminals so you want to make sure you have something that's relatively fast and if you have stimulus cash um, if you have extra money i recommend picking up a repair kit uh, maybe a speed upgrade and then maybe a med kit so that's if you have additional cash but the the main things you need here is an engineering license and a driver's license and a car so we've already done that um, oh yeah one more thing if you have a lot of money and you probably won't be able to afford this right away but if you have a lot of money then uh, you get a banking app because it'll just make your life easier you're able to actually uh, bank anywhere in the world, but when you die, you lose your banking app. So uh, that's why when you're actually running legal resources like Platinum, what we're going to be doing right now, it's good to have a banking app. And even drug running. I mean, a banking app is a really good necessity uh, or a commodity anyway, if you can afford it in any situation. So I'm actually going to get the hell away from spawn because this Land Rover has already been stolen twice. Um, <laughs> already twice. 
which kind of sucks, but I mean, it happens. You got to be careful about that. People can lockpick your car unless it's in a, a car park, then they can't lockpick it. First, we need our drill. So to get our drill, we're going to be going to oil processing and mining tools. So after you get your engineering training and your vehicle, hopefully something that can run, you know, fast off road, uh, we're going to be heading over to get our drill, which is what we need to quickly mine platinum. You can also get a mining pick, but it's super slow. So I recommend not doing it unless you can actually afford the engineering training and the drill. We're just tuning our vehicle here with the speed upgrade that we just purchased just to make our lives a little bit easier while we're traveling through the desert. Um, I think the note guys is when you're traveling off road, there is a high amount of risk. Vehicles are just like glass, like cannons, man. Like the, if they hit a rock or a bush or anything like that, or a hill, like on an awkward angle, then you'll just die. So you have to be pretty careful if you're going off road, but there's a couple perks of going off road. Um, you don't have to run into, you know, independence or road checks so that, that could potentially, you know, stop you, or you could get killed from an independent or a cop not doing their job correctly. So that's why I always like getting a, a, like a red Land Rover because you, you can go on roads, you can go off roads at really nice speeds. Another thing about collecting resources and doing legal things is it actually is much easier than processing drugs. Processing, processing drugs requires you to own a gang area, um, which is can be pretty difficult if you're only playing solo. I mean, if you're experienced enough and you have the right guns and you can do it, it just takes a long time. With Platinum, um, you basically just buy the engineering training, you buy the drill, uh, and that's it. You have the vehicle, go get some Platinum. And that's the thing I really like about doing legal, legal resources every now and again. So it depends on what server you're going to be playing on, but we're going to be going after Platinum. And that's because it's the uh, best resource. It gives you the most money per weight. Uh, all the other resources as well are in like really awkward locations. Like silver is down here, gold is down here. So you're going to have to be traveling much farther distances to get much little return, a much smaller return. So now that we have everything, we're going to be heading over to uh, to the uh, platinum area. Which shouldn't take too long. Um, again, if I recommend do taking the road though sometimes because uh, that can happen. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Oh my god, that's actually hilarious. I love when examples just come together. But you're pretty much safe at this point. Um, you just stick to the road, can you know, continue to head to the platinum place, and uh, you may run into independence if they try to stop you. Honestly, it's probably just best to trying to run. Um, in my situation, getting stopped by an independent is just asking for getting robbed and captured, and then a whole lot of stupid things happening to you. So. If you see uh, independence, uh, there's a chance, especially if you have a speed upgrade, like just, just ignore them. Oh my God. Speaking of which, ignore, ignore, ignore. He's actually trying to stop. We're not going to let him stop me. He's actually turning around. But uh, he's going to have to catch up to me if he wants to rob me. Yeah, he probably doesn't even know where I am anymore. This is what I call Rocky Pass. And the reason why is because if you're going around the corner too quick, you'll slam into those rocks and destroy your vehicle. Which kind of sucks. We're at Platinum. So you want to drive your vehicle up to Platinum. Pretty close. Doesn't need to be touching the rock. This is your Platinum Stone. So this is where you want to be mining. We're going to get out. We're going to lock the vehicle. And then uh, we're going to start mining. So to mine, you want to press 2 on your keyboard. And you want to hit, click your jackhammer, click use. And you should be humping the ground like this a little bit. But you'll see in the bottom left that you're actually, um, you know, collecting platinum. So we have collected, we collected a lot of platinum. This is why the drill is amazing. Because you basically just get completely full of platinum instantly. And then you want to press T 
Um, you can look at your vehicle, you could just be near your vehicle and do this. And you just want to press T, and that's going to access your vehicle's uh, inventory. And you want to put all your platinum in there. So 12 platinum, that's great. And then you want to use the jackhammer again. Wait till you're full of platinum. And then press T, put the amount, drop, use the jackhammer again. So you're gonna to wanna to do this process until your vehicle is full and then also fill your own inventory up with as much platinum as possible. The only negative thing about platinum is it's actually very heavy where this is why drugs end up being much better than platinum. But again, drugs are illegal and it's a much lengthier process, a much more expensive process. And the risk, like I've, out of all the drug runs I've done, I've only successfully completed three of them. Uh, and although you make a lot of money, it's just the money that it takes um, to actually process and complete the drug runs uh, and then all the deaths that are involved with that, you know, other gang fights or, you know, getting chased by police officers um, or op for um, or just random stupid things happening to you. Um, it's it can turn into a pretty big risk, whereas platinum, as you can see, it doesn't take much time at all. and we're probably going to be yielding over a million dollars from this haul. So, which is going to pay for our engineering. It's going to pay for the drill we bought, the vehicle, and everything we purchased here. So, that's why it's so good. Okay, so now that the vehicle storage is full and your inventory is full, get back in your vehicle and it's time to deliver the payload. So we got to go from our platinum dealer all the way up to Rasmin um, and to the resource depot. Now again, this is server dependent. So this whole strategy works on every single Takistan server, but the locations of all of these uh, you know, where platinum is mined and where resources are turned in, depend on what server you're on. Um, typically, like I said, this is for uh, Takistan Life Uprising. Takistan Life Revolution actually has different spawns around the world, but the ideas are exactly the same. So just duplicate these, uh, these ideas uh, over to whatever server or mod that you want, and it's pretty much the same. Now, just another thing to note before uh, I cut out and go to Rasmin is the fact that drills actually have a chance to break uh, after a number of uses. So it's a good idea to keep a spare drill on you after you do your first uh, resource dump. And uh, once you collect enough money, you know, buy a banking app and you know, buy a couple extra drills, maybe chuck them in a storage somewhere. So we're going to go off-road and uh, head directly to uh, Rasmin. So there's some alternative methods um, that you can actually do. You can get a helicopter, which can speed things up, but again, um, a red Land Rover with a speed upgrade is gonna be almost just as fast as a helicopter. But if you get a civilian MI-17, then you'll be able to like hold 800 uh, units of platinum, um, or 800 kilos, I guess, of platinum, uh, which is pretty crazy. A lot of money you can make and if you're gonna be you know using a helicopter I recommend that you actually buy the vehicle factory that's near Rasmin which is actually just towards our left here at those oil barrels if you buy that factory you can actually store all their all your collected platinum uh, in the factory and then use an SUV um, like this one to actually take your resources into the city instead of trying to land a cargo helicopter in the middle of the road it's not gonna work so that's what I re would recommend if you wanted to upgrade this method you can also buy a truck like a Ural um, which holds like 900 units as well which can yield you a lot of money again coming here is sometimes dangerous but the cops are supposed to have it safe and we're just gonna want to turn into platinum to this guy and there we go 200k we'll take more money out or more platinum out turn it in take more platinum out 
turn it in. We just made a decent amount of money um, selling platinum. And what we can do with the banking app is instead of risking it and going back to Civ Spawn, you can just deposit all your earned money into the bank and then do it all over again. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, guys. Uh, that's the best way, in my opinion, to make money in Takistan life the legal way without you know, breaking any laws or doing any drugs um, or, you know, just not like the lowest risk possible for highest reward uh, is definitely that platinum. Uh, and uh, again, guys, this is just a basic method. You can expand on this, get helicopters, get multiple people. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty much universal. And then you can use that money to do, you know, crazier things like drug running, which, you know, you can make way more money in, but it's a little bit more of a risk. So I hope you guys found this video useful and I'll see you guys on some Takistan life.